Hi again. Uh, I'm here to talk about Parse one more time. We've got a long, long series of videos here on Parse. I hope these are useful to people. Um, so, so far we've got a simple app here that allows you to, you know, sign in, log up, log in, log out, post new items, list all the posts, right? And what I want to do now is I want to associate um, posts with a user. So when you're logged in with a specific username, you know, like test, for example, then I want each one of the posts created by test to, you know, reflect that. So, you know, I want each post to be able to know which user it's assigned to. And th this is a really important concept in understanding the backend and databases. And it's not hard, um, but it's just like a super important concept to making things happen with your database, right? And getting you know, being able to show relationships between data, right? So essentially I have data in my database that represents a user and then I have data in the database that represents post and I need to create a relationship between those two things to connect them together, okay? So um, the way that works is, you know, if we look at the, uh, at the, the, the user um, class here, you can see every user has a unique object ID. Right, and I talked about that before. the um, The ID value here looks just like a random bunch of characters, but it's actually it's a unique value. So every user is going to have a, a unique value here. Okay, no two users will have the same object ID. Okay, and when we go to post here, you can see every post also has a unique object ID. Right, so when we want to associate or you know, create a relationship between posts, there's a couple different kinds of relationships you can make, but probably the most common one is a one-to-many relationship. And what that would be is when we have a post, and I, actually I guess in this one it's gonna be a, you know, it'll be a, a many-to-one, because we might have multiple posts here that are assigned to one user, right? And the idea is that we'll have a column here that contains the user ID, and since that's unique, right, then we'll know that that post belongs to one user and only that one user in the user table, okay? So essentially, you know, the idea is, you know, if you have a value here like title and comment and created at, you know, imagine we have another field here and the value is the object ID, but it's the actual value from here, you know, so if it's XDJJQ, right, whatever that is, then... You know, imagine these posts, these first three posts here were created by that, then this field would say X, you know, JJQ or whatever it was, right? So how do we, how do we create a column that is a pointer to, uh, to another, you know, record in another table? Um, you can do that in JavaScript, so we can just write that into our code. And as we saw before, like parse will just create fields or even whole you know, tables or, or classes, you know, if they don't exist and you, you name them, it'll create them, right? Um, if you want to just create them in the back end here, you can do that too. So I'm going to do that first because it'll make it more clear what's going on. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to add a new column, okay, and that column is going to contain a reference to an object in another table. In our case, it'll be a reference to a user in the user table, okay? So I'll click the plus column button to add a new column. And then it says select a type. And in the previous examples, we use string for most everything. In this example, I'm going to use pointer. Okay, so pointer says that this, this um, field or this column is a reference to the ID of an item in another in another class or table, right? So we choose pointer here, and then it says target class. And so then you can see here it lists all of the classes that I've created, like test object and post. And then, you know, when I created the user account, Parse actually kind of handles those tables separately for us and sets them up. And it actually names them underscore table or user underscore session underscore role. So, you know, actually this is the underscore user is the user table. So let's select that. And we're going to create a pointer in this, in the post table that is a pointer to a user in the user table. Okay, and we'll just call it lowercase user. Okay, um, 
and then I'll click create. Okay, now I, I don't see the column because it ends up way over here on the right. Let me drag it over so we can see it now. So at this stage, um, you know, my user column here is empty because I already have posts and then I just created a new table and Parse can't retroactively go back and figure out who created these posts. Like we need to have set that in advance and that's okay. You know, we're just testing and building things right now, but you know, and then in the future when we go live with our site, this will be already set up, right? So I'm going to go to the user table. If you want to set this up, you know, in Parse and you want to fix this, right, and make it work, you can just do it manually. If you go to the to the user table and copy the user ID, the object ID here, you can paste it into the field here. And when you hit return, you'll see that um, maybe maybe these posts right here were all created by the same user, right? Uh, maybe I'll, I'll make these are created by the same user there too. I'm just randomly distributing these, right? Okay, and you can see that um, the values here just look like plain text, but these values actually look like buttons, right? And so Parse, when they look like a button like this, you know that Parse is, you know, linking this ID to the item in the other table. And you can see if I click on it, it takes me to the user table and it shows me that user, okay? So I'm going to click on the user here to get all the users, and then maybe I'll assign my other posts to this other user here. You know, this is really not necessary here, but um, it'll just make my table kind of complete and, you know, it'll be fun. That way I can, you know, when I view it over here, I'll be able to pull up those users. But anyway, so that, that, that pretty much does it, right? Um, so how would we do that if we created a new post from our from our, our website, right, from the form? So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'll go into to my, um, my website here, the, the source code, and I'm going to find the submit for the um, post, right? So here you can see post form submit, okay? And in here, you can see I've created a, you know, um, I've gotten the title and the content for the post. And then I have, you know, new post. And then I'm going to set the title and the content, right? And now my, my post table has a new field that we can fill in, right? It's got title and content. So there's title and content. And then it's got user. And what I want to do is I want to put a user into the user field. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the user. And I'll do it this way. I'll just say, you know, user equals. And then remember when we um, figured out who the current user was? Well, we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to say parse.user.current. Okay. And then that'll give us the object that is the current user. So essentially, that's the user that's logged in, and it's that object in the user table. Okay, and then I'll say new post dot set user. That's the name of the field here, right? And uh, and then we'll put the user object here. And you know we could have just typed in you know uh, parse user current here also, but you know, I'm going to do it this way where I just get the variable and put it in then it looks kind of cleaner. Okay. So, uh, so there you go, right? So now we're, we're setting this to a user object and, uh, and parcel figure out that, you know, this table is supposed to be a user object and it'll understand that that was the, that was the user and this user object will have the ID for the user. Right. So, um, so anyway, so we'll do that and then we can save our object. Right. Okay. So let's give it a test. So I'll go to my site, let me save that, and then I'll refresh here. And I can see that test is currently logged in. So uh, maybe I'll create a new post. So ready to use parse, this is where I'm gonna add my post. And I'll say um, testing um, user, and I'll say posts are now 
associated with users. And then I'll click submit. Okay, and it says, oh, you, your new post has been saved. And then um, when I go to the table here and I refresh, you can see I have a new um, post here called testing user and posts are now blah, blah, blah. And then you can see that there's a user object here. And if I click on this, it should take me to the user with the name test. Okay, so there you go. That's not too complicated, right? And we've got, you know, relations now between our tables. So thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful to someone.